Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Anthony and ah, I've got something really exciting to talk to you about and that is I have decided to start my own clothing brand. Now, I know I've spoken about this in the past. I know I've shown you samples which I've got here so I can show you again but I think it's time that I actually devoted myself and started a clothing brand. So if you're new to this channel, hello, welcome. My name's Anthony and I'm a fashion designer with over 10 years experience working for both high-end branded and fast fashion retailers. I've designed across the UK high street in multiple different categories and I started this channel to help all new designers coming into the industry on what they might expect and learn from the first few months and how they're going to progress through their careers. And also, I wanted to help anyone who is interested in fashion and help people try and figure out the career path that they wanted to go in. So with all of that, I've decided to start my own brand. And I just want to point this out right now, it is not going to be merch. It's going to be a fully cultivated brand. We're going to start off small and hopefully grow as we grow. So this is something I've been talking about for a while. If you've watched my previous vlogs, I've mentioned it a few times and it's been a long time coming and I'll tell you why. Actually, no, before I tell you why, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel to grow, especially that like button. You have no idea how much it boosts my video and promotes it with the YouTube's algorithm. Please also leave a comment because I like to chat to you guys and get to know you a little bit better and build this fashion community up. So now all that jargon's out of the way, I can get in and talk to you about the brand that I want to start. Now I'm going to show you some stuff on my computer in a second, but I have been working, as I've said, in fashion for over 10 years and I've always worked for other brands, devoting my time to building their brand and their kind of visions and I think it's just time that I do my own and as I say this has been a long time coming it's not something that I'm just going to start willy-nilly it's something that I've been putting a lot of thought and a lot of time into and also I've been building up to this point for quite a while so originally I wanted to start a brand in 2019 but unfortunately I got made redundant. Just after I got made redundant, I started an Etsy shop and I started this YouTube channel to keep me going. And as time's gone past, this YouTube has started to make money. My Etsy has been growing and growing. I've also got Shutterstock and a few other side hustles. And I just think it's time to pool all that money that I'm getting from these different places and start a brand. I did want to start one in 2019, as I said, but I was quite scared because A, I wasn't on a lot of money, and B, I didn't want to funnel loads of my own money into a brand that might or might not work. Now, I know what you're gonna say, no risk, no reward, but I am quite risk adverse when it comes to my money. Now, saying that, I've saved up an emergency fund, so if I ever get made redundant again, I am fine. And my Etsy and my YouTube, as I've said, has started to make a little bit of money. So what I want to do with that money is reinvest it into myself and growing a brand. Now I've already come up with the name, and I've already come up with the kind of style that the first collection is going to be in, and I think I want to take you through the process of how I'm going to launch the brand, what I want to do, and the process behind the scenes of what you need to do if you want to launch a brand yourself. And you can follow me and my journey, see my triumphs and my mistakes, maybe learn a little bit from me, and also learn Hopefully, I don't know, I was gonna say learn what not to do, but hopefully I do everything right. I mean, as I say, I've been a designer for over 10 years, but the things that I know about design, product development can only get me so far. I need to work on marketing, I need to work on websites, I need to do all of this sort of stuff. So I think it's really interesting to do a video series where you can follow along and start your own brand if you want to as well. Now this is my journey, I'm gonna do it the way I think's right and I'm gonna take my time doing it. As you may know, I've got a full-time job, I've got Etsy, I've got a Shutterstock, I've also got a part-time job, and I've got my YouTube channel. So this might be a little bit of a slow process to get it going, and I am going to outsource some bits that I can't do myself. But first things first, let me show you where I am, what my inspiration is, and kind of where I want to go with this brand. So let's start from the very beginning, kind of the mood of the brand that I want to go for. Now, I've come up with my name and I'm just going to tell you where it is. It's called Pudsbrov. Now, there's a bit of a story about why I'm calling my brand Pudsbrov. And 
Basically, I got an older brother whose nickname is Pud, and I made a suit when I was 21, 22, worked for a couple of weddings, a few of his friends asked to borrow the suit, and when they wore it to weddings that they were going to, people asked where did they get it from, and they kept saying, oh, it's Pud's Bruvs. I didn't have a nickname growing up, so I'm taking that, and that's the brand name. Now, I don't want to do suits, maybe in the future, but not for now. I want to start off with a very small collection, and it's all going to be very angsty. It's all going to be around the Doberman. The Doberman is my favourite dog. I really want one, and maybe in the future when I've got a bigger house, I'll get one. Now, that's not really my style, personally, but this is kind of like my alter ego. It's the kind of stuff that I wish I could wear, that I felt confident wearing. So I'm designing basically for my alter ego. Now, some of the things that I really like that have been out there already is the kind of Givenchy kind of Rottweiler t-shirt. And I also really like this t-shirt from Represent, which I actually think these three dogs might have come from this. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it might have. And this Amiri shirt as well. And these are kind of some of the inspiration images of the kind of angsty kind of feeling that I want to go for. Now, I'm not a graphics designer, but I did have a go at coming up with my own branding, which is this. Now, I kind of wanted it to feel a little bit metallic. I also wanted it to feel a little bit 3D, so I used Illustrator and Photoshop to come up with this. Grow it in two colours, and I think it's what's going to be going on my t-shirts when I launch. Not only that, I can make badges, I can do 3D prints, I can do loads of different things with it, and it's just an initial start off with my logo. Really, really like it. From there, I kind of did this. Now, these are actually stock images that I have purchased. They weren't very expensive. I think this one was like £5 and this one was like £10. But I kind of put it with it because I thought, you know what, that would be a really nice graphic t-shirt. And as I say, I'm not a graphics designer, but I am going to go through a freelance designer to help me create a bit more of a brand identity and a bit more angst when it comes to my graphics. I've kind of also done an initial mock-up of how I would like the brand to look. So if I just zoom in, this might be a bit more targeted to winter, and I think maybe winter is probably when I would want to launch. But I would want to do a lot of this bleaching techniques with the Doberman included and then also layering on my branding. I also think it's really important to do plainer white t-shirts and a plain black t-shirt just to help as an initial price point because these would probably be a little bit cheaper than this because of all that work and detail. And then I would also want to do something along the lines of joggers as well, along with some interesting socks, which would be good. And then as we get further on, I would also love to do something a little bit more technical, like puffer jackets or even this Borg fleece jacket. As I said, these were just initial ideas, and I've actually gone on to do pads for a few things that I like. So this is the plain black t-shirt. This is kind of the bleaching effect that I wanted with the Doberman and just a plain black one, and then also bleaching effects on the joggers. I also think it'd be really cool to do some jewellery, but I've actually spoken to some jewellery suppliers and factories, and it's really expensive to get the moulds and things that I'd want. I actually want like a big Doberman ring where it's snarling, um, but to do that would cost quite a bit and quite a large setup. So I might leave that for a little bit later. But what I've decided to do is launch with a t-shirt. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the basic white and black t-shirt and then also do a print on the same block of a t-shirt in two different colors. Again, white and black. And that would be the initial launch. So there'd be four t-shirts over one block in two different colours. Now for the graphics, I am, as I've said, going to speak to a graphics designer to help me because graphics isn't my strong suit. I'm a shape designer and if you don't know, designers come in all different forms, whereas one's a shape, one can be graphics, you know, one might be athletics, one might be jersey, one might be accessories. I also think it's really important that I want to show you my complete step-by-step -step process. So I've decided to do a few different videos around 
what I actually want to do. So obviously we've got this intro video that I'm just introducing you to the brand and then I'm going to go into designing the range a little bit further so I'll go in depth about what I want. Then I'll have a meeting with a print and graphics designer and I'll show you that process speaking to them and kind of sorting them and all of that sort of stuff. Then I would go into finding a supplier to actually supply my garments and show you that process. First samples and comments, I'd like to take you to photo shoot, building the website, then promoting and marketing and then eventually fulfilling orders. So that's kind of the process that I'd want to go through and take you along on that journey. And then I can also go through maybe the second collection, the third, the fourth, whatever that might be and show you the whole process of that. I also want to take you behind the scenes of actually pricing a garment and how people work out their margins and all of that sort of stuff because it's not just you buy a sample, stick it on a website and sell it for 10 to 15 pounds profit because that might not cover the full expenses. You know, of course you have to pay yourself, you have to pay your freelance designers, you have to pay loads of different people and also pay for websites, marketing and all of that sort of stuff and that all needs to be included in the price of the garments. So, as I said, this is not going to be a merch collection, so it's going to be a proper brand. It's going to probably be a mid-market level, so that means that the t-shirts can be anywhere between 40 and £100, depending on where I'm sourcing them from, the materials that I'm using, and also, you know, the labour that goes into them. Something like that. I'm not sure I haven't worked out the details yet, but I wanted to show you my first sample. Now, I got this sample made. It's actually a stock by t-shirt and I actually really like the shape of it. It's actually from a brand called Stanley and Stella and I sent my logo over and they printed on it for me. Now I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure I like the quality. I'm not sure I like how the print has come off. I think I want to do some more stuff where it's a little bit high build. I want to do something where it's a bit more of a vinyl print and also this has got a bit of a sheen and a bit of a sparkle to it which I don't think is quite right. However, the shape of this garment I really like. I'm going to try it on now. So I don't know if you can see that this is the shape of the garment. As you can see, it's slightly oversized. It's got a drop shoulder. It's got the print on the front. It's got the print on the front and print on the back. But yeah, so this is kind of the t-shirt. I really like the quality. I think I might want to go a little bit heavier, but I like the fit and I like the block of this style. So I think it's going to be this kind of t-shirt in black and white. One that's got a simple print like this, or even like a rubber badge or something. I'd also do a heavy uh, graphic. But overall, I really like this t-shirt. It's just, I don't think the printing quality is quite where I want it to be. So now I'm gonna start developing it and I'm gonna bring you along on that journey and show you what it takes to launch a brand. And I might make mistakes on the way, I might not, but you can follow along on this journey as well. So what can you do to help support me on this venture? And launch this brand? Well, the first thing is like and subscribe. It really does help my channel out. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll leave a link to the Pudsbruv Instagram account. I haven't started posting too much on there. It just says coming soon. But when I start posting, it'd be really good if you guys would be there following along so you can see the journey from beginning to end. You can also watch these videos because when you watch these videos, that's something that you can do for free is just watching the videos and ideally watching them from the start to the end. Also, if you want to be a bit sneaky, you can put my videos on in the background, press mute while you're working at home or doing something and just have them on in the background because that would also help with my ads. And finally, you can help support this brand by shopping on my Etsy shop. So all the proceeds of that go directly into this brand's fund and it also helps support this channel. And what that Etsy is dedicated to is supplying you guys with CADs and vector-based images to help support you in your design journey. So if you're a new brand, you can't afford to buy loads of drawings of t-shirts to put your graphics on. Well, they're all there and they range from, I think, £3.33 up to £6 or you can message me directly on there to get a bespoke card or a tech pack done and that would really help support this brand but definitely go and follow my Instagram I'll leave a link to it in the description below but apart from that that is everything 
for this video. Alright, okay, thanks for watching. Alright, bye. Cha cha cha. Bye.